Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that if you're heading into the Dragon's Lair, you want to make sure you got your sword at your side and you're ready to go. Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're doing another D&D related video. It's also slightly movie, um, well, movie, and also video game related. I have my sword of power, as you know. This is based on the firebrand that El Cid used. And I've got a scabbard that was made for me back in the 80s. Love it, and very happy that it all works. But, I have always wondered, when I see in movies or TV shows, like, say, for example, The Witcher, he's got his sword on his scabbard coming out of his back. And that's known to be a thing, you see, in a lot of fantasy settings and scenarios, like um, Skyrim as well. You've always got the characters walking around with a, a sword pullable from the back, which is great in theory, but I don't think that's ever really going to work. And I would like to try and pull my sword out of its scabbard from my back. I hope I've got enough uh, headroom for this. We'll soon find out. Um, this is also based on a couple of videos. I mean, there's many people who've talked about this kind of stuff, but the one that I wanted to pull or, or shout out is Shadiversity. He's a big YouTuber who does a lot of this medieval what was it really like type of uh, material. Great channel, love the guy. Uh, I'm gonna put a link down below. He's done a few videos about can you pull a sword out of a scabbard from your back? And he actually solved the problem because you can't, and I never thought you could. He solved it by actually making himself a custom kind of holder for the sword that would work. Now, that's all fine and good. I've just got a standard old scabbard that I had back in the day and I don't think that's a, a solution that's going to work for me, but apparently he did a follow-up video a little while ago. Another YouTuber uh, has actually shown that you can pull a sword from the back of your, like from over your shoulder, uh, in a particular technique. And I'm going to try both. I'm going to see. I have never tried this and I want to see what happens. Now, a couple things. Uh, number one, Shadowversity talked about how in history, no medieval people never pulled swords from a scabbard over their back. That's ridiculous, but not for the main reason you would think. I mean, you can't really do it, as I think I'm about to prove. But more, in medieval combat, actual, you know, feudal era times, anybody that was going to be into combat, if there was going to be a war or a battle taking place, the vast majority of knights on horseback or footmen or whatever would have already had their swords drawn. He mentions you don't see swords being, uh, or you don't see a lot of running around and doing stuff in actual history. The, the people who were about to go into combat had their sword ready to go. It's really only for long-term travel. Now, those of us who are into the D&D thing, we're thinking, well, but it's more like a Lord of the Rings or whatever, or Game of Thrones. I'm walking across the land and journeying to different parts of the realm, so I will have my sword with me and at, at all times, and I will have it in its scabbard. Fine and good, but surely it makes more sense to have it sticking out of your back. It's a little more uh, beneficial if you're, like, rolling around and doing things, if you're in a typical adventure situation. But Shadowversity also talked about how when it's on your side, that actually is just as convenient as it is from your back. So, going to really recommend you check out his channel and the other channel that names escapes me, but uh, they both talk about the back scabbard, and I seriously, I want to try this, because I only ever had, on the rare occasion that I actually wore my sword on my side, I wore it on my side. I never pulled it from my back, and I want to sort of uh, emulate my uh, inner Henry Cavill. A lot of people, you know, mistake us. Uh, I want to see, like the Witcher, can I pull the sword from the back? Now, I'm going to try it in two different ways. Shadowversity says it just can't be done if you're pulling it, if it's sticking out here, you can't pull it up because your arm just isn't long enough. He mentions, on the other channel as well, if you're doing it sort of on a cross way, it does work. So, I don't have a proper, like, customized uh, rigging to make it uh, attach over either shoulder. I'm just going to kind of hold it up. Maybe I'll strap this belt around in a weird way just to get the sword end up over a shoulder. And let's see what we get. So here we go with test number one. I'm leaving a lot of headroom above me so that you can maybe, I hope this works out. Uh, got the sword there, and it's actually on there pretty decently. All I've done is sling the, the belt up higher. 
over one shoulder and under one arm. Um, I don't know, does that, I mean, that looks kind of like it does in the show, in the video games and in the shows, right? Like that's, am I, am I Henry Cavill? Am I? Yeah. Anyway, so, now here is the big test. Can I pull the sword out? Because this is, I think, how it is in most games. It looks like they reach over their shoulder and they pull it, almost like a rifle. This should not work because my arm is not long enough. So there it goes. And, uh, ha! You do hit... Ah. Well, first of all, you knock stuff over. Secondly... <laughs> you hit a maximum! There is no way I can pull that out. Uh, where's the other end? I think it's sticking out. Okay, how far are we? Even, even if you got really long arms, you just, it's not. Nope, nope, nope. That is completely impractical. Okay. Like, yeah, ish, but I mean... That was not easy to do. That is totally not a practical thing to try and do in the in the battlefield. Yeah, the length of my arm, and this is a standard, I don't know if this would be a long sword or not. Um, possibly, who knows. But this is sort of the length of sword that I think of when I think D&D &D sword. And I, I mean, it's the, my reach, and I'm, I'm over six feet tall, so I've got a big long reach. I'm having a hard time doing that, and let's try and put it back. I don't think I should even try to do this, but okay, let's see. I mean, in, in stages, if I want to hold the handle and do it in, you know, like a little bit. This is sort of to the point of Shadow Diversity. Oh, wait a minute, that's going in. This is sort of to Shadow Diversity's point that, like, yeah, as long as you're not in battle, you can make it work. Oh, no, I think it's, it's come back up. Yeah, that's just simply not going to happen at all. Okay, so that's a failure. Let's try over the other shoulder. And now, the other shoulder. Now, this is apparently doable. I am really... I will be surprised that did not look too practical. But there you go, there's the, the sword doing its thing. And I'm right-handed, so... <clears throat> now, I think it needs to be up fairly high. I'm actually holding the bottom, you can't see, I'm holding the bottom of the uh, scabbard with my finger just to give it a little elevation. Um, I think what you would really need is a proper uh, rigging with all the belts and stuff like that. But anyway, let's see if I can get this. Wish me luck. So, they say this direction. Ooh. Hey! That was actually doable. I'm surprised. Who'd have thought? But, I mean, I guess physics, yeah, that makes sense. Biology, whatever. But, yeah, that actually came out relatively easily. Can I put it back? And this is the other thing. All these video game characters and Henry Cavill and stuff, they just place it and it's like magnets hold it in, in the position. But, I'm gonna, let's see here. If I can grab this and not gouge my eyeballs out. No, okay, let's, let's guide it. Carefully get it started at least. Whoa. <laughs> man, oh man, I, to be a video game character and just slide it right in. Ooh, ooh, oh! Did we get it? Did we get it? I think we got it. I think we got a part of it. Yes, we got it. Sort of. No pun intended. Sort of. Um. That's surprisingly doable. I mean, again, I'm just, eh, I'm just sort of uh, trying to make this work as best I can without doing, you know, a crisscross of leather and stuff like that. But it actually works when drawn from the other side. Let's see if I can do it quickly without breaking stuff. How about you? Oh my God, that can't work. Well, color me surprised. I did not think I'd be able to do the back scabbard thing. And they're totally right. You can. <laughs> well, interesting little experiment. All right. Well, I'm going to once again try and put it back. Now I can actually see it. But I think... Oh God, and I mean, 
this is a blunt prop sword. This is not this is not Excalibur here. You wouldn't want that blade right near your eyeballs as much as as that. But you know what? That's actually that's in there. Look at that. <laughs> There we go. Back scabbard test. Successful. I'm really shocked. All right. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.